guys, so it is time for the highly anticipated makeup room tour slash collection video. This is actually my 100th video on my channel, which it's actually not really my 100th video because I had other videos, but I deleted a lot of them. So this is more than a 100th video, but the current uploads I have right now, this is my 100th video, so it's a celebration. As you guys know, this is always a very um, highly requested video from you um, as my subscribers. I want to say, which I feel like I shouldn't have to say, but I'm gonna say it, that I'm not bragging. <laughs> I have worked very hard for everything I have and or it was gifts from people and or companies have been gracious enough to send me some things. So um, don't think that this is my way of being like, ha ha, I have this and you don't. That's definitely not what this is about. You guys wanted to see this, so I am showing it to you. And of course, I am very, very thankful for every single thing, every single thing, even the things I don't use very often, but every single thing I have. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this is what my room looks like when you first walk in. I'm standing in the doorway right now. Um, this is the floor. Here are my socks. Um, and you guys can see that my makeup is pretty much right in front. Um, I'll get to that in a minute, obviously. And then if we pan over here, you'll see I, this is kind of the background you guys see. Um, when I'm filming, I have my nail polish up there. Just kind of an overview. There's my computer and there's my camera. So this is the background um, when I'm filming. You guys can see I have some knickknacks, patty wax, whatever you call it, tchotchkes is what I call them sitting over here. I have my perfume and then I have this cupcake painting that you guys actually can't see when I'm filming so that kind of sucks because it's real cute. Um, here's my perfume. I actually have a perfume collection video that I did a while ago, but nothing's really changed. So I will link that below and you guys can watch that if you're really interested. I have a candle right here. Which one is this? It's the buttercream mint candle. It was like a limited edition thing, but I've barely even burned it. Here's my real cute light that I think I got from like TJ Maxx or something. Um, an ice cream cone painting I did. Yes, that says shit. Sorry. Um, here are some cute little stuffed animals that my husband has gotten me. Um, the one on the right is actually a tattoo I have in my arm that is Bastardino from Tokidoki. And then the other one is a Labbit, I think they're called. Yeah, he's pretty gangster. Then if you look over here, I have my Sugar Skulls from Mexico. They're both wearing geeky glasses, some other stuff, some more stuff, and then some more stuff. <laughs> Here's my Tokidoki calendar, which is actually gonna get moved here in the next few days because I ordered another nail polish rack to go there because I have outgrown the two racks that I have here. I have also done a nail polish collection video. However, it has grown since then. I have more than just this. There's more in my closet that I'm not gonna show you right now. But if you guys would like to see an updated nail polish collection, please, comment below or thumbs up or something of that nature. Over here is a poster that I made myself. It's actually remnants of a Tokidoki calendar from two years ago. So it's pretty cool. I just kind of cut it up and put it in there. I'm a big fan. Of course, we have my computer with my headphones for video game playing. I have a second channel. If you guys are interested, there will be a link below where I play Minecraft and potentially other games in the future. So that's that. And then you guys can kind of see my lighting set up here. Um, I think that light turned. I didn't, I don't know how that happened. But I have this, I have two umbrellas on the side. This one's normally not there. It's actually usually in this empty corner here. I just have it lit for this video. And then I have this one with the reflective umbrella. My goal with this was to try to create my own diva ring light <laughs> without actually having a diva ring light because they're expensive. So um, yeah, I mean, it looks all right in my videos. I don't mind my lighting too much. And then here is my camera. The one I'm using now is just a little handy cam. This is my Canon T4i. I got a external microphone for it, which has helped out a lot because this room echoes quite a bit. Um, but that's another reason I'm not using this camera right now is because of that microphone. You wouldn't really be able to hear me because I'm not talking in front of it, blah, blah, blah. Fun fact, this camera strap is actually my dad's from when he was younger. He was a photographer, so pretty fun. Okay, the desk I have, or desks, are actually two tables from Ikea. I don't know the name. They're just real standard tables with legs, and I just kind of stuck them together in this L shape. My husband did the same thing with his gaming computer. This chair is also from Ikea, and I have no idea where this, this is like Office Depot or something. Um, this metal container is from Ikea as well, um, and that's like my overflow drawer. However, it is almost full, so I'm gonna have to get 
maybe that Alex drawer thing that everyone has. Maybe I'll put it in that corner. That's a good spot for it, I think. Okay, so here is my actual like makeup area. Um, I have a mirror, it's just kind of up there and I move it down when I am actually doing my makeup. That way it's kind of out of the way and obviously it makes it easier for this video. Um, we are going to start over here. Now before anybody asks, um, these drawers are actually Muji drawers. I will have a link to Muji below. I always get questions about them. They're actually like decently priced and they're really, really sleek looking. Um, they help me organize my makeup quite a bit. I definitely could use more of them or a bigger external storage area. Um, the lipstick container, I think I just got on Amazon. These little cups I think are from Muji. These glass holders are from Walmart. And then the beanbag fill I got on Amazon. Um, uh, pretty much everything's from Muji, Amazon, or Walmart. <laughs> basically. Okay, back to my first section. Um, so this is actually a five drawer section. There's a five drawer and then these are um, two drawer ones, I believe. And the two drawer ones are th wider or thicker and then these are just a little bit less deep. So it's kind of depending on what you want to store in them. Um, for instance, MAC paint pots will not fit into the um, smaller drawer sizes. So you really have to be careful as far as what you're trying to store as to what size drawer you get. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So here I have two of the five drawer set stacked on top of each other. The first section, which is also really nice because you can just pull them right out, is um, like primers. I have some eyebrow stuff. Sorry it's not super organized, but it's almost impossible to get it to sit in there equally. Um, all different brands. Too Faced Smashbox. This is from Laura Geller. It's a lip primer. Um, eyebrow stuff is over here, which I definitely could use. Some new Anastasia, Anastasia stuff. I want that dip brow so bad. Uh, my Tarte brow pencil. I This is like the only eye primer I have right now, so that's pretty sad. I need to get a new eye primer and this one, but I didn't really like this one very much from Lorac. It was a sample. Um, yeah. This is a really nice lip exfoliator if you guys are looking for one from Tarte, however it is. I mean, it's Tarte, so it's kind of expensive, but it does a really good job and it actually tastes really yummy. I don't know if you're supposed to eat it, but it's like sugary mint. Lovely. My next drawer down is kind of like my cream shadows slash bases stuff. Um, what is this? I think this is from Julep. Oh yeah, that's like a new thing from Julep they're doing. This is like, um, I don't even know how to describe this. It's sort of like a moussey shadow. I have all my NYX jumbo pencils, the Maybelline color tattoos, some stuff. Oh, this is from like a birch box or something from Ofra, some Buxom, and so on. My next drawer down are all of my pigments, which I actually have a few more, I think, or like loose shadows that wouldn't fit in here, but um, I have a few. This is from P Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. I don't know if you guys have heard of them. Um, they do some really nice, highly pigmented stuff. This is really pigmented. These are all Makeup Geek here. I also have some of the Makeup Geek gel liners that wouldn't fit into my gel liner drawer, so they're in here with those. Um, these are from, what do you call The Balm. I have, I think I have all of those. No, I'm missing one, I think. Um, Micah Beauty, and then, I don't know what else. That's pretty much it. Those are all the brands in here. And then this is from um, Glamour Doll Eyes. I did a review on their subscription bag. I wasn't such a fan, but this is really cute packaging, nonetheless. My next drawer down is some of my shadows that aren't depotable or I don't want to depot them. Um, these are from the Tokidoki collection that was at Sephora a while ago. Now what's sad is that these are kind of like coming apart the packaging, but um, in any case, it's super duper cute. And as you know, I love Tokidoki. So I have all of those. I have a The Balm um, loose shadow, a Stila kitten that's like necessity. I don't even know what brand that is. And then some more Stila that I actually got off a of Holt look and they are gorgeous just to look at. I mean, so pretty. My next draw down are actually some of my eyeliners. Um, I have quite a few pencil eyeliners, some liquids. My favorite one that I use the most in here is definitely from Kat Von D and it is in Trooper. Um, this is the tattoo liner. I highly suggest this. It's not a felt tip, although it looks like one. It's actually a really, really fine brush tip, which if you are a fan of brush tip, liquid liner, this is definitely the one for you. I also have that in a brown color called Maya. So clearly I'm a fan. 
And then this is another really amazing thing. This is from Tarte. This is the Emphasize Eyes. And this is the Inner Rim Brightener. So obviously you put this in your waterline and it brightens up your eyes like, whoa. Next up is my mascara drawer, and I don't need a lecture about how you're not supposed to keep mascara for a while. I understand. Um, there are definitely some in here that I don't really use anymore. I've just kept for nostalgia purposes, like this Tarte one. I just like the packaging on this. Um, I didn't even really like this mascara very much. It's the light, or no, Lights Camera Splashes, I think. They're waterproof one. I wasn't even a big fan of it, but I just think this is so cute, so I've kept it. Um, and then I have quite a few others. Honestly, my favorite one in here is this. It is from uh, Maybelline. It's the Lash Discovery. It has a teeny tiny brush, waterproof. It's just really great with my lashes. And then my most expensive one in here is definitely from Lancome, and it is the Definicel's Precious Cells, and I don't even really like it all as much as I thought I did when I bought it. Okay, now we're getting into lip territory, which... I like lip stuff, but I'm not like huge into lip stuff. I just, I don't know why I have so much of it, I guess. Um, here I have some of these Tarte Lip Surgeons lip thingy majiggers, um, some Kat Von D lip things that I got on sale, some Smashbox stuff, my favorite to lip balm of the moment, and it's Jack Black. I have some Cora's. These are all lip butters from Cora's, some sugar stuff. Um, my, the only thing I have from M because I got it in like an Ipsy bag. And it's just, it reminds me of a tinted lip conditioner, which is what these are from MAC. It's sort of the same thing for me that those are. Next drawer down here, guys, I have some more lip stuff. Um, these are all my MAC, what are these? Pro Longwear lip glosses, my Miranese lip balms, um, Matisse Elite, some more MAC stuff. Just some random things, I guess. Yeah, you guys can notice a, a color trend here as well. For the most part, it's all like this pinky nude shade, which is definitely like what I lean toward when it comes to lip color. And yet another lip drawer. Um, this one has some more glosses. These are all from Lorac. They came in a set. These are probably my favorite glosses though, to be honest, if I'm going to pick a gloss in my life, it's definitely the Buxom. And then my other favorite thing from Buxom are these lip crayon things. I don't really know the proper term. What are you called? Big and healthy lipsticks. They are so awesome for me because they aren't super shiny, they stay on, they stay put, and then I like the color selection as well from them. Next up I have some lip liners, <laughs> some. I have a lot from NYX, um, a Giordano one, a Jessie's Girl one, I have some other lip conditioners, and then some Julep um, lip glosses, which are like a new thing for them, um, and I actually like this shade the best. It's again, kind of like a, actually this is kind of bright for me. This is like a melon color, and I like this one the best. Okay, now we're moving on to my other stack of drawers, and this is actually two of the two sets stacked on top of a five set. So I'm making like a tower here, basically. Now on top of it, I actually have this little holder, and do not ask me where I got it. I have no idea. I'm sure you can find something similar on Amazon or somewhere. Um, and in here I have some more Tokidoki stuff, which at this point is kind of collectible. Some more here. Um, this is a Dr. Jart BB cream, which I really like, a Misha BB cream, and then a MAC BB cream. Um, I have all of my Vivids, what are these, Maybelline I think, Vivids, some of my baby lips, which I don't really, I'm not such a big fan of. I have some perfume back here, roller balls, roller balls, roller balls. This is Lady Gaga, and then I have some Kat Von D's behind it. A Hello Kitty mirror, it's a must have. And then these are also from Pretty Zombie Cosmetics, and these are just stacks of pigments basically, and these are so gorgeous. Okay, now venturing inside here, my first drawer, whoa. My first drawer is basically like my face stuff. Now you'll notice that I don't have a ton of foundation. I have a couple that I'm gonna get to in a little bit that don't fit in here. Um, even though this is the thicker of the drawers, it's still they still don't fit in here, so. Um, the first one I have here is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus, which is definitely one of my favorite foundations. If you are oily, this is the jam. Really, really nice stuff. Urban Decay Tinted Moisturizer. This is from Julep. I haven't even really gotten to use this very much. It's a DD cream. I, I don't know. Here I have my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation, which is also an all-time favorite for me. I have my Shiseido BB, which I got around Christmas time. I really like this a lot. My Miracle Skin Transformer. It's like a silicone-y feeling thing. You can wear it alone or under makeup. My Too Faced BB, which you've heard me talk about a billion times, and then my Urban Decay Naked Skin, which I'm a little too white for right now, but I like this nonetheless. My next drawer down is probably one of my heaviest drawers. I almost slammed it down and I dropped it here. Um, these three things are MAC paint pots. I have um, some gel eyeliners in here as well from Essence, which if you haven't tried these, I suggest you do. Yes, they dry out kind of quickly, which sucks, but I think they're like two or three dollars a piece, and they're really 
really pigmented. They stay on really, really well. I definitely suggest these for sure, hence I have almost every color. Um, Bobbi Brown concealer and powder set. Um, a Cora's concealer, a Derma Blend concealer. This is my favorite concealer right now. It's from NARS. It is the Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. Amazing for under your eyes. And then I set it with this. This is the Bare Minerals Well Rested, I think. Yes, well rested. Definitely awesome. And then another, you know, miscellaneous. Oh, this is the other thing I use all the time. This is from Chella. Chila? Chella? Where are you at? There it is. Um, and this is something I got in one of my subscription bags. I don't remember which one. And I love this. I use this under my eyebrows like every day. Next up, I have like setting powder slash powder foundation. Actually, oh yeah, I have a couple powder foundations in here. Um, this first one is actually from Urban Decay. It's the D Slick powder. It's just a white powder. I can't open it right now, but it's just white and it's to absorb oil. Um, Benefit, MAC, Tarte, Stila. Another Tarte Smashbox. Um, this is the Remmel Stay Matte. I added my own powder poof to it. And then an Estee Lauder powder, which I actually really like this one um, a lot for setting my makeup. The next drawer down are blushes. Um, I think it's all blushes. Oh, and a bronzer. Um, I have my Benefit Block Blox blushes. <laughs> sure. My Benefit Box blushes. I have Bella Bamba, Hervana, Coralista, and Hula. And then this is from Smashbox. It's the O Glow. I have two Cora's um, cream. Blushes, I got these off a of Holt Look. I really like them a lot. A Pixie Powder, um, I don't even know what this is. Revolution that came in a subscription bag. This is a Vincent Longo highlighter and then a Fox in the Box from Hard Candy, which is actually a really nice color when you mix those together. All right, I have some more blushes here. These three are from Tarte. They are all the, um, what are you called? Air Blush, Maracuja blushes. Different shades, obviously. This one's from Sephora up here. I have two Stila um, stain sticks a Staniac from The Balm, and then three of the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes. This one's in Exposed, which is amazing. Okay, next drawer down, more blushes. <laughs> oh, my blush. Um, here we have a Laura Geller blush. Actually, I have two Laura Geller powders. One of them's like a half powder, half blush. Three blushes here. One's from Matisse Elite, Lorac, and then Pixie. This is from Makeup Forever. This is marketed as a blush, but it's a little bit much. So if you use it lightly, you can use it as a blush, but you can also use it as an eyeshadow and it's just as gorgeous. And then I have three, actually four from The Balm. I love all of these and they are from Holt Look as well. There is an ongoing theme here, if you've noticed. A lot is from Holt Look. Okay, now we're going into the MAC world. Um, I don't have as much MAC as some other people do. A lot of the stuff I have is from CCOs. Um, the CCO around here is pretty amazing and I actually wanna take a trip there here in the new future. Anyway, I have four blushes, actually five blushes if you count this one as well. Um, and then a couple Wonder Woman powders, which really, I you know, who just, if you bought it for the packaging. Let's be honest, that's adorable. Okay, now we're getting into the highlighter world, except for this, this is obviously not a highlighter. I have the Betty Luminizer from The Balm, my Lorac um, Spotlight Powder, which is amazing, a Pixie Powder, another MAC highlighter, my Soft and Gentle from MAC, and then this is a blush, which is so pretty. You can see me in it. <laughs> okay, now we're into kind of a miscellaneous face drawer. I have a bronzer, another bronzer, another bronzer, and then I have two highlighters. One is from Urban Decay. It's like a creamy highlighter. This is from Stila. I love this. It's really awesome. It's the Kitten Duo. And then this is just a Laura Geller powder that I actually usually bring on the go with me, so I have something to powder my face with. Now, before I leave the side of the drawer set, I wanted to show you guys what's in between them. I have two Z palettes. Um, one of them is full of Makeup Geek eyeshadows, which if you have not tried Makeup Geek, I highly suggest you do. Not only are they an amazing price point, but they are amazing pigmentation, um, just gorgeous colors to choose from. Definitely a good product. And then the other one is kind of like a miscellaneous, um, there's some MAC in here. I don't even know if I can open this. There are some MAC shadows in here, some Coastal Scents, and then like some Matisse Elite or like random brands, I don't really know. So I'm waiting to fill that one up, basically. Okay, now between my two drawer sets, I have like this little section here. Um, over on this side, there's like a little cup. In here is what I almost use this every single day that I use my makeup anyway. This is the Scandinavia No More Shine Makeup Finishing Spray. You spray it on before you do your makeup, you spray it on after, it locks it in. It's really awesome. I also have a, um, I don't even know what this thing's actually called, a neutralizer from Lorac. It kind of neutralizes any red you have on your face, which I tend to have a very red nose. I don't know why. So I sometimes will use this under my makeup. 
Behind that, I have my eyelash curler, my tweezers, a little baby pair of scissors, and then an Olay BB cream, which I'll use that on like a really, really light makeup kind of day. Over here, I have some more stuff. On the bottom is a Ben Nye um, finishing or luxury powder in this shade Buff. Um, this is a Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. I use this when I am filling in my brows. I wet my brush with it, and then I use my brow powder, and my brows are tight and right. Behind that, I have my um, daily makeup brush cleaner. I think this is just from Sephora. Yep, sure is. Disinfects them as you go. I have an eye makeup remover from Neutrogena, and then I have my spackle from Laura Geller, which I don't really use this, but it's there nonetheless. Okay, into my last section. Um, on top of here, I actually have like a letter holder that is probably from like Home Depot, not Home Depot. <laughs> Office Depot or Staples or something. And then I just decided to put my palettes in it. Um, I'm not really gonna take these out because you guys can just see pretty much all of them. I might take one of them or two of them out that you can't see. But obviously up here I have the Naked One, Naked Two, Naked Three, my Lorac Pro palette, my Benefit Nude Tude, the Naked Basics palette. This is not a palette. This is my Kat Von D um, face powder, which I really, really like that. Here is a Tarina Tarantino blush palette. Sorry about the fingerprints on it. I got it off a of Hot Look. These are the colors that are inside. It's actually really, really pretty. And I think, I mean, I got it for a really good price. And every now and then they'll have Tarina Tarantino on Hot Look. So definitely go check it out if you're interested in this. It's really cute and handy like to bring on vacation or something. The packaging isn't exactly the smallest, but I mean, you get four blushes out of it. So that's pretty good. Also buried within here, I have my Kat Von D Ladybird palette, which I love matte shadows. And that's what this is. It is all matte, beautiful shades. And I am such a fan of this. I love all Kat Von D, everything. Her line is amazing. And then under the Naked Basics, well, where it was, I just moved it, is my Lorac, whoa, Pro To Go palette, which it's dirty. Ooh, yowzers, I gotta clean that off. That's one thing that sucks about this packaging. It's the same thing with the Pro palette. It's like that narzy kind of weird feeling packaging and it gets just so dirty, so. That sucks. Okay, below all that, I have this stuff that doesn't fit anywhere else, so it's living here. Um, the first thing I have here is my Benefit High Beam, which I actually got from Ipsy Points, so that's pretty cool. These two um, Tarte Cream, are these cream blushes? Cheek stains, um, and they're really nice. And then I have two foundations that won't fit into my drawers. I have the Lorac um, Natural Performance Foundation, right? No, Breakthrough Performance, I have the natural. And then my Kat Van D foundation that I also love. A little Kabuki brush, which I think is from like e.l.f. And then we'll start on the drawers. So this is where a lot of my eyeshadow palettes live right now. It's kind of the best option I have for them. I feel like I'm missing something out of this drawer. Like something should be here. I don't know what though. Um, anyway, I have my Meat Matte palette. I have an Urban Decay Ammo palette, a Tarte, just it's like a quad in here. And then this is one of the first things I ever bought for myself with makeup and it's from Stila and it's a pearl. Oh gosh, can I do this with one hand? Yes. It is like a pearl, I don't even know what the heck it is called, but it's it was really pretty when I saw it at Sephora when I was younger and I picked it up and it is called the Precious Pearl. And I don't think you can find that anywhere these days. The next drawer down are some more palettes, <laughs> shocking. Um, this one's just a little mini Kat Von D palette. And then I have, this is the first Kat Von D palette I ever got and it's beat up from the feet up. Let me see if I can open this, yep. Look at that, I'm missing the whole black. That's all jacked. This one I had to repress. Um, I could really use a new one of these. What is this called? Beethoven, I think. In my opinion, yeah, it is the best palette that she has. It's the most versatile and it, I mean, it doesn't look like it, but trust me it is. And then this is the Urban Decay 15th anniversary palette. I don't even really open it. It just looks pretty. Next drawer down, I have some Lorac. Quads, no, trios that I got from Holt Look. A NARS, this is the only NARS eyeshadow that I have. I don't even know what the name of it. I'm not gonna try to say it because it's weird, but there's that. And then I have the NYX Butt, Butt Naked, Butt Naked Eyes palette. And then my last drawer of palettes looks like this. I have two of these Smashbox palettes, which are actually really, really pretty. Uh, pretty. <sighs> Why did I skip over my words there? I have a Lorac um, palette thing, Tarina Tarantino, Hello Kitty, which, you know, packaging again and then a Tarte palette. This is my lipstick holder that actually goes in front of my palette drawer. Um, I have a few MAC lipsticks, again, not too many. They're all, oops, right here in my front row and then it kind of curves in back here. I have one YSL lipstick because they're so expensive. I have a Benefit lipstick, a Cora's lipstick, two Makeup Geek lipsticks, I think. 
yeah, they're Makeup Geek. Really, really nice quality. A Tease Trendy Cosmetics Lipstick, which is from a Lip Factory box. If you guys have not heard of either of those things, go check them out. Two Urban Decay lipsticks, and then probably my favorite lipsticks on the face of the planet are these Too Faced ones. They're so nice. They're, they're called the La Creme lipsticks. They're really, really creamy. Really, really pretty colors, although this one's kind of like whatevs. It's just gorge. Have you guys seen these? Have you tried them? If not, I suggest them. Okay, then coming over here to like Brush Valley area, I have two beauty blenders sitting on top of that. This houses my Sigma face brushes. Does that make sense? So these are the brushes from Sigma that I would use on my face. So I have like highlighter brushes, blush brushes, brushes, blush, blush brushes, um, uh, all kinds of things. Um, this one's for like concealer. It's one of their precision brushes. And then I have some more of like the tightly packed deals. So just a nice variety in there. Behind that, I have another brush holder. This one has a bunch of eye brushes. Now, most of them are Sigma, but I do have some from other brands as well. And I'm not gonna go through them all, but you can see them here. This one, obviously I use often. This is what I use to set my under eye concealer with the Well Rested. And then, oh yeah, this is the containers from Walmart and then the bean bag. This is just bean bag fill. So if you wanna look real fancy, you can go pick some of that up. And then way in the depths here, I have just kind of a random brush thingy. Um, this is a Tarte brush that I use with that airbrush blush deal. It works really well. Um, some more collectible stuff, Tokidoki brushes. And then, yeah, just a bunch of random stuff. I used to use this brush all the time. It's from Sonia Kashuk. That was like my go-to blush brush as you can see, probably needs to be cleaned. <laughs> and then also kind of stashed back here, I have two little containers that I got from Ikea. One has like makeup sponges, the other one has cotton balls and Q-tips, cause you never know when you're gonna need that stuff. Okay, the last time I did my makeup collection video, this thing had like nothing in it. This time it does, it has a lot of stuff in it. Now the stuff in here, maybe stuff that I haven't tried yet, and maybe backups of stuff. Um, it might just be doubles of things that I already have that I'm planning on giving away to friends or family or you guys. So when you see it and you see that there's things still in its original packaging, that's why, just so you know. And here's a cat. She came to say hello. Okay, my first drawer is like some eyes and some face stuff. I have some foundations that I don't use. This one is way too dark for me. And then I have some other stuff, some Sephora stuff, um, some stuff from the bomb. I actually have some hair ties in here, just in case, you never know. I have a bunch of eye palettes that maybe I haven't used yet. These are like wet and wild ones back here. I have some cream shadows, a julep palette, and then some like loose pigment stuff in there. Oh, these little baskets I got from like my local grocery store and I think they're like a dollar, just so you know. Okay, this next drawer is like my blushes on this side. Um, some City Color Cosmetics, some Wet n Wild highlighters, um, you know, elf stuff. And then over here I have some Tarte concealer, Tarte eyebrow stuff, something I got as a backup and I haven't used yet. Some cream blushes. Um, and then some other new things. Next drawer down, let me move this out of the way, is like my lip, lip stuff and eyelashes. Um, so here's a bunch of glosses and other lip products. Um, the Revlon lip butters, obviously I've tried, I'm just kind of over them. But then there's a bunch of other things up here that I haven't gotten around to trying yet. Um, and I definitely wanna work into my routine and definitely give them a shot. Look how cool this is. So pretty. I also have some mascaras that are unopened because I don't wanna let the air at them and then them not be good anymore. So I have a bunch of stuff over here that still needs to be used as well. Okay, the next drawer down is my sample drawer. <laughs> You can see I have a lot of samples. Um, this side is like the deluxe sample side with like the plasticky containers that you can reuse. And then this side is more of the like one-time use deals. And I've actually been able to jam two of these plastic containers in here. Don't ask me how, it was a tight squeeze. This is my makeup bag drawer. And when you're subscribed to Ipsy, they, not this one, but they give you a makeup bag every single month. So I have quite a few of those in here. I also have some extra brushes. I think they're in here that um, I just don't really use slash need so they kind of live in my Tokidoki bag again with the Tokidoki. And the last drawer I have 
some um, palettes, BH Party Girl palette, the 10 color blush palette, and then the contour palette, which I actually really like this. I also have a container for the Sigma Premium Professional Kit, which Talia gifted me, um, and I thanked her and loved her so much for that. That was an amazing gift she gave me. And then um, some incense. What is this? I don't even know. Uh, more incense, and there's like a candle back there and a brush. You never know when you're gonna need a brush. <laughs> All right guys, so that is it for my makeup room collection tour. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. If you are interested in seeing my nail polish collection, please leave a comment below, let me know. Um, once I get my other rack in and I kind of reorganize, maybe that's something I'll do for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and also share it. I never ask you guys to share a video. I don't really even know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but if you do, go ahead and share this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Bye.